There's a new coaching adjustments called zone coverage. Even on the defensive side, we get to see a couple of new defenses, like the cover two invert. <laughs> For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the Mad Shoes as always. Today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the entire Madden 23 gameplay video that just came out. Today, I'm going to be going over things that I saw that have me the most excited and things that I saw that have me the most worried about things that might be potential problems in Madden 23. Woo! As always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's go and skip right into the video. Now, the first thing I noticed and something that has me really excited as a play creator is a lot of new plays. This split wide receiver backfield formation was one of the first things we saw, and it has a lot of new plays like the inside zone, which wasn't in it last year. There wasn't even a formation specifically named this. Last year, this formation was named like the split backfield or something like that. You see a lot of new routes, a lot of new route concepts, and we're pretty much been told that every single playbook is going to have new plays in it. This tight way off formation, we only get to see for a brief second, but that's a brand new formation. Even on the defensive side, we get to see a couple of new defense. It's like the cover two invert, which is essentially made to look like a cover three pre-snap and then it turns into a cover two. This is a type of coverage that's going to be very difficult for people to pick up when it comes to reading defenses. There are cover two inverts in the game, but there's not ones where one side is in a curl flat and one side is in a hard flat. This will be very difficult for people to pick up when the new game comes out. Another new thing in the game is coaching adjustments. There's a new coaching adjustments called zone coverage, which you can essentially either match or play the standard zone coverage to default. Now, to me, the difference that I see between these two is I've always thought that matching zone coverages were better, thought that they covered tighter. This might be an adjustment that most people are probably going to want to put into their adjustments when they pick up the game. Now, one of my first concerns is the new freeform passing. Typically, when EA adds something new to a game, they don't really balance it right away, and it usually takes a long time before they tone it down. Now, on this first play, you can see it's an interception, but if you watch this game consistently, a lot of the plays that these guys were both running just seem to be like a lot of streaks. Like that first play there was just a streak, and then he kind of relied on the freeform passing to make the throw. On the next play, TD Barrett scores with another streak. Just basically the freeform passing, once again, just basically bullets it, Freeform leads it outside, and it would look like it was very hard to stop. I hope that the freeform passing doesn't turn something into like when they first put in the high point passing, and it really became glitchy. A lot of people were just basically high pointing every time they got into the end zone and stuff like that. This kind of seems like it has the potential to be that way, and it became very annoying to play against. You can see here once again, freeform passing on a streak right up the seam. I know they're running a lot of cover threes, so that might be why. But it definitely is something to keep an eye on as it really looked overpowered in this particular gameplay. Now, placement plus accuracy. Also, you still have the target area around the receiver. You can place the ball wherever you want with visual feedback. But with the accuracy set and also enabled, you have a small mark on your passing meter that provides a perfectly accurate bullet pass if you hit that while you're passing. Now, something that we just saw in that clip that really has me concerned too is poor DB reaction time. Ooh. And I think it's a result of the implementation of this new freeform passing system where you can see it almost slows down so that the offensive player has the ability to try to squeeze these balls into these small reticles and it really slows down the reaction of the DBs. I think it really takes away from that. Almost, it almost turned it into like a baby comeback. Like it just sort of stopped the route. I mean, you hear the EA guy trying to basically make up for this, but you can see the guy, the receiver stops completely and the DB doesn't react. I mean, that's definitely an issue. And like I said, I think it has something to do with this. This ability to basically change where the ball is inside the reticle, I think is what really slows it down. It really just makes it look herky-jerky. Another thing that I think could be overpowered is the breaking tackles. As you see right here, I mean, this guy catches the ball and immediately triggers a break tackle animation, which he immediately breaks. I mean, in reality, I think it probably would have been more like a broken up pass because he's hit almost immediately after he catches the ball. These break tackle animations to me are gonna be completely random when they happen and it'll really just be whoever hits the button quick enough. I mean, it's something that everybody's gonna have to be, you know, on their spot, on their game uh, to make sure that they don't- You see the ring go paper. green. I saw a lot of really ridiculous broken tackle animations in this particular gameplay. There are some things that really can change how effective they are. It's also not one size fit all. So you're gonna see bigger, stronger players able to get out of that a lot faster than smaller players. But at the end of the day, I just want to make sure this isn't completely random because you're going to see some break tackle animations that make absolutely no sense like this next one here. Where I think it gets to a point where this player is clearly going backwards. That type of momentum that they're they're carrying backwards 
the it just doesn't seem like it's possible that anybody would get out of this situation and get a positive gain. We don't get to see the full end of this play, but you can see he clearly breaks it. See two players in a stand-up tackle. It's like a one-off situation. You never know how it's gonna resolve. Um, now, another thing that could seem a little bit concerning is the new hit everything uh, mechanic, which you can see on this next play. I mean, he just flies around the edge and just slams the running back. I'm not saying those type of hits in the NFL don't happen, but on the very next play, you're going to see it happen again. So on back-to-back -back plays, you can see the hit stick. Uh, this one was a little bit different, but players are just flying around. like It just makes offensive players look really weak. So I don't know if this is something that's going to be overpowered. Uh, fumbling mechanics is something that's going to be upgraded uh, to the point where, I mean, this really just seems like in a lot of ways, it's really going to be a lot of advantages that are given to the defense in this year in Madden. And like I said, balance is always key. Something else that I noticed that's going to be a huge improvement for players that aren't very good at usering is the improved user play art. You're going to see this reticle here really kind of leads you where you probably should be defending the most. On well, that play, it was a fourth and two, so you decided to take a shorter route. But look how this this art, the play art of the user linebacker, uh, it really is just kind of giving you a much better example of where you should be leading. Where in years past, it kind of just dropped straight back. Look how it's basically looking and searching and trying to find, uh, you know, where the best uh, receiver is to cover so if you're not a very good user it might be a good idea to follow that another concern is the offensive line still appears to be blocking very poorly you can see right here this is one of the best centers defensive in the league, and this linebacker on a blitz just walks straight around him like he doesn't even react he just dumbs out which is something i can't believe they highlighted in the footage uh, but at the end of the day i mean they're trying to show you how there's a new way to be i think they call it an elusive defender or something where you can essentially um have what well, looks like you're going to have like the ability to juke and move similar to a running back to get around blocks but that wasn't really it i mean there was a lot of instances in this game and you can really see that that the pass rush compared to the blocking is going to be really strong. I mean, Joey Bosa just flew around the edge there. And if that's the case, a lot of people are going to take this particular approach here where they're going to be zoning everybody. On this particular play, TD Barrett is only sending two defenders after the quarterback, and his, his opponent is blocking six people. Clef is blocking six people, including the running back and I think a tight end. And on the next play, you can see he gets basically pressured into a sack anyway with only two guys coming in. You got to be real methodical with your ears. You got to be really, really quick. There's not enough time to... Mm. It don't seem like you could just run around and buy time no more. So you're going to have to change your offensive alignment. Now you might use O-line abilities. You know, you might spend more on your O-line. Next up, the ball carrying moves that they've that they've you know basically said they added the 360 ball carry mechanics look like they could be a little bit op as you can see on this next run. I mean, I, I look like the defender dumbed out there. It looked like that move was so good that the defender just basically dumbed out and you couldn't do anything about it, which has been an issue in years past where essentially uh, you know sometimes the ball carry mechanics are just a little bit too overpowered. That definitely looked like it right there. Hey, hey I used my I used the LT thing at the end there. I hit him with all, that speed cut. I'm guessing that these ball carry moves will increase fumbles. As you can see right here, Clef tries to do a juke, and it costs him, I think. It costs him with an instant fumble, by the way. I mean, holy fumbles. This is a year where I think fumbles are going to be ratcheted up majorly. You can see a ball carrier get in the stand-up tackle and fumble the ball. Their fumble chance is a bit higher when they're in stand-up tackles. And then my last impression is man coverage really seems to be the way early on. Uh, throughout this game, they were mostly running zones and just getting picked apart. And by the end of the game, it seems like they're running a lot of man coverage. You can see even there, and the man coverage is super sticky coming across the field there as he caught it, but he barely had any space. So man coverage might be the way in Madden 23. Uh, as you can see, I mean, like I said, these these they're, they're not a lot of space there. And then last but not least, a lot of this looked very similar to Madden 22, including the end game animations and some of the animations throughout the entire game just seemed like copy and paste as normal as per usual but the new features will definitely give a lot of uh, new things for players to learn and a lot of new uh, you know basically things to master but at the end of the day I mean it's going to be Madden 22 with new features let's just put it that way so that's that's the video if you guys want to see more videos like this as always hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below